Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Going at you Tuesday, 16 July. Incredibly boring markets. Uh, this theme continues and has continued overnight. Nothing really moving uh, too much. Taking a look at this Aussie chart. Now we're approaching this very, very interesting uh, 70 50 level. This looks to me like it's going to break. I don't know why. Uh, when I say break, uh, of course, with this kind of vol, you can see the average true range on the dailies today is going to be something like 42 points. If we printed a 32 low. So even if it breaks, you're not expecting much more of a move past sort of 70. And you have this resistance up here at uh, 68 as well. But there will be some risk above 7050. Uh, looks to me like it will probably uh, get taken out. So it's just something to watch. Try and scratch a few dollars together. Um, and in effect, that's what we're trying to do, right? We're we're trying to just scratch a couple of dollars together. All of the risk parameters are changed in this volatility. Your maximum loss per day is much lower, which then, of course, bleeds into your maximum gain oftentimes. Um, and you're just trying to keep your seat during this, during this period. There's no possible way to make a shit ton of cash. Uh, we need volatility for that. So you just have to be patient uh, and trust that this is eventually going to come back and return to a normal market. So, anyway, uh, Long Aussie looks uh, looks the way today. So, keep an eye on that. Thirty seven now. Uh, let's go shorter time frames. You know, this you could just have to kill this below twenty six, um, and you're looking for this sort of move above forty four, and then through fifty. Could be stocks higher. Could be euro higher. I don't know. Um, but it looks to me like Aussie's gonna gonna nudge higher. Cousin Kiwi here is also moving higher. Oh, we had the CPI last night. It looks like it was it was bullish. Um, but uh, you know, again, we just we're certainly not gonna chase this. This is not a market to chase. But we are now fully through the 200 day and a bit of fresh air. Uh, up top there. As far as Euro, we are just dead as a doornail mid-range. We had this turn bar down here. This was FOMC. I know this was hum Humphrey Hawkins. Uh, the break up was 112, sort of 18. We paid 29s. Traded in the long end for about 24 hours. We squared up around 70, but it really hasn't um, taken any pain. The low since has been 38, but now it's just been three days of total bullshit. Uh, so there's really nothing to do. Just watching here, um, not much to do. Euro sterling, trading this on the short side. It's now become social amounts because of yesterday's big green bar. Um, we thought. This was going to shoulder out around 85, but now we're sitting up here towards the highs for for just a little bit too long. We're going into average hourly earnings today at 10:30 Swiss time. If that comes in hot, this thing will turn and go lower. Uh, but the head and shoulders pattern is now broken, and so now we just wait. Not dissimilar though, this horizontal support is, is the key, 8955. But again, it's just hard to sink your teeth into anything. Everything is just rangy and the ranges are minute. We're playing long Euro Swiss, uh, just kind of trying to buy low ones, sell high ones. Uh, we did print a low down there, 66. As we said yesterday, we're buyers between 60 and 80. Now we're sellers between sort of today we'll be selling sort of 97 to 
17. Um, so that's so boring, but my modestly interesting. I don't even know what to say. Equities doing nothing. Look at these tiny bars. Uh, we're sitting here at the all-time highs. Volume is just awful. Vol is just on its knees. Um, we will try and sell high ones today. So 29 to say 34. We'll try and sell some. Otherwise, we do nothing. Um, this trend line is now marginally important. I guess this is this is the 240s. Bring it down here. This trend line now is which is creeping up comes in at 3004. This is the trend line from last June, June 2019. Um, this was the move. This was the 2730 move. So it's hard to believe that was June, June 2nd. Wow. A month later, we're at 3,000. You forget uh, how ridiculous this move has been. But anyway, we're not doing anything in stocks, we're trying to sell high ones, I guess. Um, up at 29, 34, probably won't get done. Basically, just sitting tight. We're trading uh, ZN still from the short side. Just doing nothing here. Here's the dailies. So we've got consolidation here. Um, we're assuming this isn't going to get back above 27.20. Uh, if it does, we have to cut. But we're just trading short side, uh, looking for catalysts. God knows what those catalysts are going to be. Uh, but keeping it conservative. Retail sales out in the U.S. today as well. No other real news. Uh, you know, everyone's talking about Facebook's cryptocurrency, which is meaningless to all of us. And again, the theme is just be patient. You can't pull blood from a stone. Uh, try and scratch a little bit of money each week during these gruesome uh, summer weeks. Or take some vacation. That's not a bad idea as well. We're off to... Uh, we're off for a little family vacation uh, in a week's time. Patience is the theme. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.